Hi, I'm Waiting, a Year 1 student, currently pursuing a diploma in Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering from the School of Life Sciences and Chemical Technology. And you're watching Of Course NP, where I'll be showing you a day in the life of an NP student in my course is like. Let's go! My first lesson is Organic and Biological Chemistry, and it will be conducted in the lab. We are introduced to the chemistry of organic compounds where we learn their structure, function, and chemical reactions. In today's experiment, we'll be learning about the organic functional groups. Examples of compounds we are dealing with today are those used in perfumes, food, and even your gum. All these organic compounds are what we actually come across with in our lives. We even deal with compounds that are used for reducing swelling and pain, just like the painkillers you take. I have ended my lesson and I'll be having my lunch with my friends. So, while walking to Makan Place, let's chat a bit on why I joined my diploma and why it may interest you. Personally, I really loved doing math and science back in secondary school. So, I wanted to pursue a diploma related to these subjects that I have great interest in. In the CBA diploma, you will learn how to combine all aspects of science to develop products in an efficient and sustainable way. And that really stood out to me among all other causes. Through this course, I hope to be able to become a professional engineer in the process plant optimization, in the industrial field, or even work in the lab. One of my favorite modules is Engineering Mathematics 2 as it provides us with an adequate foundation of engineering mathematics that will enable us to acquire specialist mathematical skills for our career and further studies. Alright, I'll go have my lunch now. See you in a bit! My next lesson is on thermodynamics, which is a science that deals with the dynamic relationship between thermal energy and all other forms of energy. In this module, we will study the fundamental concepts of thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. This will be helpful for us when we are dealing with the industrial process plants, which are production facilities that manufacture items through the use of chemical knowledge. So for today's lesson, we are actually learning about steam, where the first reason why we need to know steam is because steam is a source of power and we can use it in a steam turbine. And secondly, steam is a source of heat and we can use it be it direct or indirect. And if it's direct, we can use steam our food. And if it's indirect, for example, we can use it for industrial reboiler. I am taking a break now at the deck, and since you have learned more about CBE, why not let my lecturer share as well? Hi, Miss Loris. Hi, waiting. I have some questions that I hope to answer. So the first mm. question is, can you tell us more about what this course teaches? The CBE course is a broad-based course that integrates biological and chemical sciences with engineering concepts. Okay, the next question I have is, what are some career paths for students from CBE? In terms of career pathway, graduates can join the production, maintenance and process engineering sector. So it could be with pharmaceutical, biopharmaceutical, petrochemical, environmental such as water treatment facilities or even food and beverages industry. Alternatively, they can also join health, safety and environment or if they are interested to work in the lab, then there's QAQC, quality assurance and quality control sector or the research and development sector. So that marks the end of my day. I hope I've helped you understand more about my course. See you at NP next time. Mm -hmm.